Hi guys and welcome back to my dank dog. I've grown in cocoa and I've grown in soil but I've never done a DWC before. So in this episode I'm going to be setting up my DWC hydroponic bucket system from VivoSun and get started on my first DWC. Let's get into it. Before we start, big shout out to VivoSun for sponsoring this episode. And if you guys are in the market for some VivoSun gear, you can use my code MYDANKDOG at VivoSun.com or the Amazon stores and you'll save 15%. And that's got no minimum purchase, guys. So 15% off any VivoSun product. Right, let's get into it. I've been looking forward to getting this set up. This DWC hydroponic bucket system actually allows me to have four buckets, but I'm gonna start with one or two and work out the space in my tent. I don't really wanna start with four and mess up the whole kind of grow, so I'm just gonna start very kind of like carefully. You don't need many tools to set this up, just a pair of scissors or snips or pliers. We just need to remove that little three-legged piece in the circle there so that we can thread a tube through. So basically it goes in here and I need a tube to go through the bottom and we're just going to snip that little three-legged piece off with a pair of scissors before we get started. So they'll be the only tools. We're definitely going to need to wash these clay pebbles. You can see how much dust is in that bag. They definitely need cleaning. We'll go through all of this step by step but all of these pieces are really plug and play. Okay, so we're gonna remove this three-legged piece here and we need to have that kind of circle clear for us to thread a tube through. So just snip that off and as you can see, this is the tube that's gonna thread into there. And I'm gonna show you how this works later, but realistically, that's the only thing you need to do. You don't need any other tools. That's the only bit you're gonna be doing and the rest just fits together, clips together and you can unclip it if you want to as well. So basically the next step would be to take these tubes here. The circle at the top there, it's better to kind of move this to a 90 degree angle as you can see because that is actually going to point down into the bottom of the bucket and this circle here is where the water jets come out and feed the clay pebbles and your plant at the top. So we're going to thread this tube into here and those little gray gaskets you can see there, you can actually push those down and it allows you to remove the tubes once you've put them in there. So this top circular part is where the water jets come out and feed the water and nutrient mix to your clay pebbles. This tube is actually gonna thread into it and this is the bit that goes in the bottom of the bucket. So that's why we needed that hole to be clear because we have to thread it through. So as you can see, at a 90 degree angle, the tube is now threaded through and this will fit into the bucket. As you can see, that's gonna be in the water below and we have to fit a air tube to that, but the basket above is gonna hold your clay pebbles and the plant and just basically sit on the top here. Now this bucket needs 24 centimeters of water and that's just gonna sit nicely in the top there with the water level just below the basket for the roots to grow into. The plant has to sit below the water jets so that the roots can grow down. So we'll go over that in a later episode, but basically we're on our way. These are the rubber gaskets that you need to fill these holes with here. So you got three at the top and one at the bottom, and we're basically gonna thread some air tubes through here as well as fitting the water level meter on the outside too. As you can see, pretty straightforward. They just kind of slot in there and then when you thread the tubes through, they're gonna tighten up even more and become even more waterproof. This little pipe looking thing, little elbow joint here, this is what holds the water meter at the bottom. As you can see, there's a little clip that goes into the top here too and we're basically just gonna use these two pieces to hold our blue tube here in place and be able to monitor the water levels from the outside of the bucket. Also, 
We have to have it at 24 centimeters, so we'll be able to measure the water from the outside to make sure it's at the right level. We do that by adding one of these little orange plastic balls at the top, and the water level will just level out from the inside to the outside, and the little orange ball will tell us the water level on the inside. So we're gonna thread some tubes through here. The first one is gonna attach to the air stone on the inside and the second one is actually going to attach to the bottom of that tube that we threaded through the basket that holds the clay pebbles. So we're going to start with the air stone one on the left hand side there and you need to make sure that the air stone can reach the bottom of the bucket so that the air bubbles are going to come up from the bottom. And then the next one is the tubing that fits to the bottom of that basket that holds the clay pebbles as well. So I measured two pieces exactly the same length, actually based on the first cut for the airstone one and kept it all equal. I think once you've done this once, you're gonna just be able to recognize all of the pieces and put all of the other buckets together on kind of autopilot. It's pretty straightforward. As you can see, this cable, or tubing has now fitted to the bottom of that pipe that comes out of the basket and that fits in there nicely. So we are good to go and ready to move on to the next piece, which is this little thing here. Now this is a valve that stops the water going back into the pump and you fit it to the tubes on the outside. And as you can see, they're kind of arrow shaped. Actually, it says in on the right hand side there. And that's the bit that points to the pump. And as you can see, the pointy arrow bit points towards the bucket. You have to cut another piece of tubing here to put on the back piece. And then these tubing pieces are gonna connect to the air pump. You can also add this, which is a air kind of regulator, which allows you to adjust the amount of air that's going into the buckets. So once you've got four buckets set up, if you don't want each bucket to have the same amount of air going in. You can cut the tube and add this little little valve here too. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna keep one going as is. Check out the dust coming off these pebbles, guys. Definitely, definitely wash these pebbles. It's a absolute mess. So thoroughly wash these pebbles because you don't want that dust going into your nutrient-filled water that is supposed to be feeding your plant and going through all of those tubes. So definitely, definitely, definitely rinse these off because this is just a, this is just a mess. Guys, this took me like 10 washes to get these pebbles clean. It was like swamp water. So it was actually the longest part of building these buckets was cleaning these pebbles. So make sure you clean them because you don't want this in the water at all. As you can see, we're all set up, we're ready to go. The pebbles are nice and clean. Obviously, you'll need to work out where your plant sits there. We've got to add these tubes to the pump, so let's move into the tent. I've already got this bucket set up, and as you can see, that's the little orange ball with the water meter, and it's at 24 centimeters, so we know that the water on the inside of the bucket is at the right height, so we're good to go. After you've built one of these, you just recognize the parts. So building the other bucket shouldn't be an issue. You can see where everything goes. This is the water jet and pipe that threads through the piece here that we have to remove the three legged little bits that are blocking that circle. And then you can connect the pipes at the bottom here, one to that bit that threads through that circle, the other to the air stone. As you can see, the pipes come out, thread through the rubber gaskets and connect to the pump. Once you've set up one of these, it's pretty hard to mistake all of the parts and know where they go. This is obviously the air stone, which connects to the pipe on the left-hand side. So the pipe on the right-hand side is the one that connects to the tubing that we had to thread through the basket. So everything is pretty standard and straightforward. It's hard to mistake all of these pieces. This tubing fits down to the gaskets that stop the water going back into the pump. 
as we mentioned, it's in the shape of an arrow and the arrow points towards the bucket and then the other bit that has in on the back of it points towards the air pump and that stops the water going back into the air pump. So everything should be really straightforward once you've set one of these up guys. That tube is the one that connects to the air stone. These are the little rubber gaskets. It's not rocket science or brain surgery guys. So if you're anything like me, I was a little bit nervous about messing this up because it looks a little bit more complicated than it is. I think the actual difficulty is going to be on maintaining it and making sure that it's clean. Obviously, a lot of things like algae and stuff like that can build up when you're dealing with water. I didn't use this air regulator here. I may use it when I set up the four buckets, but this is the only thing that I didn't add to my setup. I may add it at a different date or on a different grow, but it's definitely not been added here. And that's the only piece that I didn't add. So again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Keep all the likes, all the comments, all the advice coming. And thanks again, Vivo Sun. I do appreciate all of the help and support. Bye bye. Oh, oh.